Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here. In today's video, we're going to get right to it and show you how to install a new electrical outlet. It goes without saying, make sure that your breaker is turned off and there's no power going to your hot wires. And once we finish up, I'll show you a quick little plug and play tool here to make sure that everything's wired up correctly. And if for some reason your wall plate doesn't line up, I've got a little set here made by Spacer. It's available on Amazon and it's going to make sure everything lines up nice and flush. So the first thing you'll notice is you have two terminals here on the back of the plug for hot wire and two for the white wire. And that's just going to be the white wire coming out of the wall. The hot wire is going to be the black wires coming out of the wall. And you're also going to have a ground wire. That's going to be that green screw there. So I've got everything set up here just like it's going to be lined up on the outlet. Your white wire on the left and the hot wire on the right. And then we'll go ahead and get ready to get this set up for connections. The first thing you'll do, there's a little spacer here on the back that lets you mark how far you back you need to strip your wire. So go ahead and mark all of your wires and then we'll get ready to strip that off here. In this video, I'll be using the Strip Master tool. This is a multifunction tool where it grabs the wire and pulls it apart and it basically strips the wire all in one smooth motion. It's very handy to have in the toolbox. Um, you can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot, also on Amazon, I'll provide links. But you just find the right gauge of your wire, reach back to the mark that you made. I'll try to go in slow motion here so you see the action on it. But it basically grabs it and then pulls it apart. Um, so it makes it really easy. You don't have to worry about trying to cut it around with a pair of wire snips and accidentally cutting your wire too short. This will get it done perfectly and quickly. Um, so I highly suggest this. Um, you can also do it with a pair of needle nose pliers. But what we're going to use our needle nose for is to curl the connections over. So on your left side, on the white, we're going to curl them under. Um, this is going to come in handy when we get ready to make the connections for the lefty loosey righty tidy on the outlet. You'll see here shortly what I mean. But curl your left side under, including your ground wire, and then we'll move over to the hot side. And on that side, we're going to curl them upwards. Um, this is basically going to make it to where when we're tightening the screws on the outlet um, for the terminals, it's, uh, it's going with the turn of the coil there. I'm going to keep it tight and make a great connection. So now that we've got all the prep work done, we're ready to go ahead and attach the outlet. Again, definitely make sure you have no power going to these hot wires. These black ones are the hot wire coming out of your wall. And so we're going to go ahead and connect them on the right side. And you'll see here when I'm turning the screw right and that hook is hooked inwards, it's making it to where it's not unraveling. It's going to make it a nice, tight, secure connection. So we're going to go ahead and hook up both of our black wires coming out of the wall and just make sure they're snug down. You can use a regular Phillips screwdriver like I've got here or they make a specialty screw bit for these um, electrical boxes, but um, I found out that it works just well with a regular Phillips head. Then we'll move over here to the white side and just get it hooked in and tighten it up just the same way. You'll notice here I've got my hooks downwards like I mentioned earlier. So once you hook it around here and you go right to tighten it, um, it's not unraveling your hook, it's keeping it nice and secure. So we'll go ahead and get our ground wire connected the same way. And then now we are essentially completely connected and we've got to get all these wires stuffed back in the box. So these things are pretty stiff. So what I would recommend doing is this kind of accordion style, reach back and kind of make a bend here and then make a bend up top and just push them in gently. Try not to force it in. It is going to be a little tough, but just get it as close to the box as you can there. And then now we'll go ahead and get our drill or a screwdriver and get this connected to the wall. Um, you don't want to over tighten this, but you do want to get it pretty snug just to where the outlet's not moving around. So go ahead and get one side tightened in. I'll go ahead and work on the bottom and then kind of give it a test. If it wiggles a little bit, make sure you snug it up a little bit more, but it looks like we're in good shape. And then you just kind of peek back in here and make sure that none of your connections came loose. We're good to go there. So now it's time for the wall plate. And it looks like my wall plate here doesn't sit flush because the box is mounted too far back behind the drywall. So this little spacer kit that I mentioned earlier comes with these little rubber bits here that you can cut to size. You just stick it back here where the screw goes, mark it flush with your drywall, and just make your cut. It also comes with longer screws that you'll push through, have the spacer in behind it, and then just reattach your outlet. And then once you get that snugged in, it's going to make everything sit um, perfectly flush with your wall. We'll test fit the plate here as you can see it looks awesome so this is definitely um, an awesome little kit here now it's made by spacer again i'll throw some links up um, but that's something you might want to do if you're going to be um, fixing a whole bunch of your outlets at one time the next tool i have here is a south wire receptacle tester and you can see here it's got all kinds of different options here that you could have maybe miswired your outlet by and it'll tell you based on the codes on the light so you just want to make sure you plug it into all of your outlets that you've worked on make sure you've got these two lights here lit up that means it's properly wired. 
um, if it was wired the wrong way, it would light up differently. And you can just look on the face of this thing and see kind of what your problem was, maybe where you might have messed up or where the electrician might have messed up. It's a good way to double check people um, that have been working in your house. I'll throw a link up for this also, um, but it's something great to have. Just go ahead and run it all around the outlets in your house. Make sure everything's safe. Um, between that, the spacer kit, um, this wire cutter, um, these aren't absolutely necessary tools, but they make the job a lot easier. Um, but I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions about this project, definitely leave me a comment below. I hope you'll consider subscribing, and I hope to see you on the next video. All right, peace.